This uh, question is of integration. IGN is integration of 10 to the power n x dx, where n is greater than 1, and i4 plus i6 is a 10 to the power 5x plus bx to the power 5 c. C is integrating constant. We need to find the ordered pair of b. So, ordered pair means 1, 5 is not same as 5, 1. So, we can just find the pair and we can also multiply it by 2. Let's do it. So, i n is the integration of tan to the power n x dx. So, that is equal to n minus 2 and this is x squared x minus 1 dx. After introduction of this term, the scenario changes a little bit. This is x squared x dx tan x n minus 2 dx. So this is i n minus 2. So simply we get here i n i n plus 2 equal to tan x whole to the power n minus 1 divided by n minus 1. Now if we just put n equal to 6 because they have 1 to 7 i 6 by psi 4. Just putting n equal to 4, 1 by 5, 10 to the power 5x. Comparing with this, we get a equal to 1 by 5, b equal to 0, and c is also equal to 0. So the ordered pair is 1 by 5, comma 0. Hence the answer to the question is this. Now it's eccentricity based question. The eccentricity of an ellipse whose center is at the origin half and one of its directions is x equal to minus 4, then the equation of the normal they want us to find. <coughs> uh, so it's the diagram. This is x equal to 4. So is x equal to minus 4. This is the line and this is e equal to half. So a by e equal to 4. So a equal to 4 e that is 2. So e square we also know 1 minus b square by a square. So 1 by 4 equal to 4 minus b square by 4. So b equal to root 3 x square by 4 b square by 3 equal to 1 is the equation so equation of the normal at 1 comma 3 by 2 and 1 comma 3 by so at 1 comma 3 by 2 will be a square x x1 b square y y1 equal to a square minus b square so 4x by 1 3y by 3y2 equal to 4 minus 3. So 4x minus 2y equal to 1. So the answer is option number 2. Next one, a hyperbola base question. So let's draw that. So hyperbola passes to the point root 2, root 3. Okay. And the foci at plus minus 2 comma 0 then the tangent to this hyperbola at p also passes through which of the point so here if we just uh, draw this as 0 so this is f dash this is f this is 2 comma 0 minus 2 comma 0 this is y axis and this is p root 2 comma root 3. So in this case a e equal to 2. This is the focal part. 
so pf nine minus four root two that is two root two minus one and pf dash will be root two plus two square plus three so that is nine no, plus four root two that is two root two plus one again pf and pf dash is two distance two this makes it equal to 1 and equal to 2. We know e square in this case is 1 plus b square by e square. So b square, if we just put all the values, will be 3. So the equation of the hyperbola will be 3x square minus y square by 3. So the equation of the tangent and root 3 minus root 3 will be 3 root 2x minus root 3y equal to 3. Hence the line passes through 2 root 2, 3 root 3 because that is the only thing which will satisfy the structure. Now you can check with the options. Just put all these values and you will be able to see that only option 2 base structure is coming out to be correct.